how you doing? Mm -hmm. Take it easy.
So long, partner. Mess with me. Like so many before you, you'll find out the pen is mightier than the sword. Ha <laughs> ha! See ya! People are gonna keep making weapons. Whatever you say. Technology leads to war. Ma, can I go? War leads to
That's some fine work you've done up there, partner. Glad to have you guys on board. Next up is riding you builders over to fix the engines. Things might go south over there, over in the, uh, west. What? With the gigglers and all. So you might want to earn yourselves. Are you ready to go? I knew I could count on you. Let's roll. See you cowpokes on the other side. Right behind you. <clears throat> Captain? Stay back. I don't want to hurt y'all. We, we come in peace. Ah! Huh. Well, it looks like diplomacy has failed, partner. Roll out. I'll cover you. There's got to be an exit around here somewhere. Let's try to find it. You take point. I'll cover you. What's down there? Find anything good? I didn't expect this. I thought I'd at least have Pin and a posse with me. Them Gigglers just showed up one day a couple of years back. Nah, you see and hear about a few mutated beings here and there, but I have never seen them on such a large scale. Rumor is, they come from the peripheries. Who knows? like we're in this thing. Plenty of gigglers between us and salvation. Now this goes against pretty much every regulation in the book, but we're in dire straits and uh, have you ever fired a gun before? Never mind, don't answer that. Just take this here shooting iron. Locked? Hmm. Look, see that little light thingy there? Try shooting it. It's gonna unlock this door, I can tell. getting the hang of it. I feel a bit better about the situation overall.
think if we go through that turnstile, there's an exit in that direction. This place used to be a mining spot back during the Relic Rush. I came once a long time ago. We're going to need to swap a car to get through that turnstile. Let's look around. Maybe we can find ourselves one. Yeah, let's check this way. car. Close one. Gaggle of gigglers. Looks like they're all listening to that big fella talk about list stuff or something. I remember this place. If we can find two keys, we can get through that door on the opposite side of this room. Let's move quick while they're distracted.
There we go. There must be a way to open this. There must be a way to open this. I hate to say this, partner, but I think our only way out of this thing is on the other side of that room with all the gigglers. It looks like they're all paying attention to that big guy, though. I bet we can sneak past them. Follow my lead. talking about take over sand rock hey who are those two back there oh crap they saw us what do we do ah, you're too late humans giggles attack Captain, save yourself. We're done for. Okay, all according to plan. I knew we should have gotten rid of that button. I'll destroy you myself. On guard.
Fight well, humans, but you are too late. Our plan is already complete. Behold! Yeah. And now to take over Sandrock and end the world! Hey, wait! Got nothing to do with it. Look, the rest of the Gieglers are running for the hills. We won, Sheriff. Let's go back and talk to the old minister. Uh, I guess we'll have to take that trolley again. So that's what happened. My goodness, sounds like you folks went through heck and back. I'm glad y'all are safe and sound. That Giegler train sure did some damage to our bridge, though. I'm having Heidi assess the situation right now. I'll be calling a special town meeting to talk about it once we're sure of what to do next. You've done the town proud, scaring away the Gieglers. Mighty heroic. Get some rest now, you hear? I didn't do anything.
Thanks.
weird standard. And have a nice day. Rock is there's always something that needs fixing. That's called job security, my fellow builder. The great thing about Santa Rock is there's see ya.
welcoming here. It makes me want to work that much harder to impress them. Take it easy. We are the light. Hello. Ah. The light finds a way to guide us. Always. Farewell. Hey there. Hmm. Take her easy. War leads to destruction. There are no winners.
How's the workshop these days? Uh-huh. <laughs> Great. Say, have you noticed that a lot more tourists have been around lately? And yet, hardly any of them stop into buy the stairs. Hard to believe, I know. What could I possibly do to remedy such a situation? Ah, uh, I know. How about a big billboard right there on the train platform? That way, the second they step off the train... Yes, they'll see it straight away. They'll think, wow, by the stairs. Such a nondescript shop name means they don't care about being popular. They must have great stuff. Hmm? Still have doubts? Well, this idea of mine has only been existent for 30 seconds or so. I still have some details to hire out. Given time, well, the sky's the limit, I suppose. You have a keen eye. What image would you put on the billboard? What's something that would really grab everyone's attention? Hmm. That is the traditional approach. True. But most of the things I sell are rather ordinary and hardly eye-catching. I've got it! Nothing grabs attention in an ad like a friendly face. And being that I am the sole provider by the SAS, limited loyalty storefront, whose friendly face could it be other than me? Uh, mine. Yes, our discussion has been rather enlightening, I must say. Tonight, I should have time to draw up a design for a billboard. Once it's done, can I trouble you to build it for me? Wonderful! I'll get the design to you as soon as possible. Make sure you remember to check your mailbox. Thanks again for your insightful advice. Logan and his gang are a slippery bunch. They've managed to stay one step ahead of our every move. But mark my words, justice always gets his man. Sooner or later. So long, partner. Betray me like this. To think I loved you once. Ugh. Oh, -ho! well, if it isn't my good dish friend, Skinny Arms, skulking outside my chamber door on the off chance you might bask in my stout hearted, rock ribbed emanations, no doubt. Well, today is your lucky day. Excellent! As always, Skitty, excellent indeed. Well, almost excellent. I seem to have been somewhat let down. Ah, Skitty! I can't hide it any longer. As the sand rocker I respect the most, and whose demeanor is also the most pen-like in disposition, perhaps it would ease my heart to confess to you. You see, I was action rolling over to my mirror after finishing my new 10,000 squat routine to check my post-workout pump when I discovered to a mix of glee and horror, my muscles are now too burgeoning to be contained by the surface area of my mirror. And in my moment of despair and anger, I killed it, my mirror. I broke my mirror, Skinny. I smashed it to a thousand pieces. You must understand these muscles, this perfectly crafted form, they do not come cheap or easy. No, they need constant care and attention. People have labeled my physique quantum musculature, as only through observation does it take a defined shape. But I digress. The undeniable truth is... My gains have been exceptional lately. Look at my pecs. No, no, I mean really look at them. Outstanding. 
I mean, it's amazing they fit anywhere. So, without a full and complete view of my body, I cannot truly know whether or not I've maintained my expected level of perfection. I need vision. I need a true view of my developments. Why, that would be precisely what I need. Ah, oh, Skinny, you read me like an open book. You, well, like something cooler than a fluttery old book. But yes, you're exactly right. A larger mirror. Oh, but why stop there? Not just larger, better, faster, stronger. The most advanced mirror known to man. Yes, mm. but a pinnacle of scientific achievement such as this. You'd only be able to build something so advanced with the assistance of... The research guy! Oh yeah, it's all coming together. All right, Skinny, here's the plan. You run over to the research guy's house and order up an extra jumbo high-tech mirror. Meanwhile, I'll sit around and wait for you to build it. Can you handle this for your protector? The ever-reliable Skinny Arms. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Off to the research building then, chop chop. My muscles aren't going to gawk at themselves, you know. Greetings. Make any novel scientific discoveries today? Mm -hmm. Ah, the homunculus man has once again requested the design for an item far, far beneath the technological requisition standard of anything produced at this research center. How troublesome. The last time he asked, I meticulously surveyed the exterior of my building to see if perhaps someone had mistakenly put up a sign reading furniture store. As I had originally hypothesized, no such sign existed. The only logical conclusion I've been able to draw based on the available data is that Mr. Penn believes us to be his personal furniture acquisition assistants. Which is particularly perplexing when taken into consideration that there is in fact already in this town a carpenter, albeit of dubious competency. Sometimes I wish that that homunculus man would just... <clears throat> yes. I believe I know a way, with your help, to indeed assure ourselves that we will be making no more mirrors. At least, not for our mutual associate, Mr. Penn. Expect a diagram in your mailbox within a day or so. Thank you for this discussion. It has been most enlightening. Good luck.
Has Owen told you about his new idea? It's even been approved by the church and all. We're going to make the world a better place. Ah, let me fill you in then. Short of it is, some small villages around Sandrock are just scraping by, eating sand rice three meals a day. Owen, being the boss he is, decided to step up and ship some hearty meals their way. Only question was logistics. We pitched it to the church and they were on board right away. Had a bit of back and forth. They said they'll help deliver meals if we, uh, Owen cooks them up. Right? I think it's kind of amazing. These small villages are pretty far from Sandrock, and the desert is a relentless climate. Not so fun fact, perishable food starts to spoil after only two hours in the heat. Plus, if we're going to bring them food, I want it to be fresh. Their lives are hard enough. They don't need soggy room temperature noodles on top of the, you know, hardship and everything. So I designed an insulated backpack based on a takeout box relic found by the Civil Corp. It said that in the old world, people could enjoy fresh food without even needing to leave their house. These takeout boxes, they used an advanced technology to make a compound of aluminum oxide and silica powder. This compound is a soft, flexible material that was used for effective insulation. Using this box, food could be kept fresh long enough to ensure a safe and enjoyable delivery. I tried to get Chi to look into the tech for me, but he said it didn't seem worth it. Oh please, space tech isn't the only thing worth studying. Yeah, yeah, space case. Ahem, best not to get too worked up about it. Anyway, after a bit of my own research, I now have a recipe for the insulated backpack. Would you mind helping me make it? Thank you so much. All right, come show me when it's ready. I'm kind of curious to see how useful this old world tech really is.
had a better night than I did. <laughs> I'm about to crash. After the meeting with Matilda, I went straight home and pulled an all-nighter working on ideas for the new bridge. But it was worth it. I've got designs right here to prove it. This is going to be a huge undertaking. Who knows how long it's going to take. But the only way we're going to make it happen is if everyone gives it their all. So, I need you to construct the bridge's load-bearing trusses for me. You know, the upper frame structure? We'll need two of this design to stretch across the canyon. Here's the diagram. My team will be working with Mian as we build the base of the bridge. In the meantime, try to get that frame done. I know I said this was going to take a while, but we've been consulting experts on how to speed up the process, so I want that frame finished even before we're ready to install it. If you do finish before us, check out the commission board. I'll be posting all sorts of bridge-related commissions, and every little bit helps. In any case, I'll be curious to check out the frame once you built it. Come show me when you're done. Okay, that's all I got for now. Good night. We can do this. You must be here to pick up the completed version of RVO's very modest and not at all narcissistic design for a billboard. My fee is 500 goals. Huh? Just like that? No haggling? No offers of exposure? Ooh, 
That Arvio has really done a number on you, hasn't he? You just be careful, you know. He's not exactly known for paying his debts in a timely manner. But that's not really my problem, now is it? Thank you. And make sure you color inside the lines. poking around the breach again? Just going for a walk. Don't tell me that's against the law now. No, uh, only walking that's against the law is jaywalking. But, uh, hey, point is, don't even think about going in there. We can't let Sears through without the proper training. I hate to be dramatic, but what's worth more to you? Your papers or your life? I know that's meant to be rhetorical, but probably my dissertation. When is the breach going to be reopened to the public? I would like to look for more relics at some point. It'll open when it's open. Which is to say, when it's been reclassified as an abandoned ruins. And don't even think about trying to sneak in there. I wouldn't want to, but I do have the right to detain you if you're proven to be a danger to yourself. What's the basis for all these wild accusations? I walk down this way all the time. This imagined notion of me even thinking of sneaking into the breach is just that. Something you've just made up in your head. I also have to notice that the breach has been this way for quite some time. Normally, I would have expected you, core type, to have this handled already. Sir, if I may ask, is the stress getting to you? Hey, come on, give us a break. We've been up to our eyeballs in Gigglers. Plus, there's Logan. Uh, yeah, it is getting to be a little rough out here, as a matter of fact. Glad somebody noticed. Aw, poor Justice. Why don't you just take a day off? What you need is some rest. Then you'll have your edge back. I mean, at the very least. Surely you don't need to literally stand here in front of the breach. We all know not to go in. Yeah, maybe I could just head back to the office, pour a big old glass of Yak Bell milk, kick up my heels, and... Hey, wait a sec. Dang, how come every time I talk to you, I end up with a headache? Look, Grace, I'm not kidding around. I take the safety of everybody in this town seriously. If something happened to you down there, I'd never forgive myself. Talk to me again when your fighting chops are up to snuff. Like, say, builders here. Hmm, right, right. How about this then? If I were to commission the builder to enter the ruins on my behalf, you'd have no objections to that, would you, Sheriff? Oh, uh, well, no. I guess that'd all be pretty by the book in my book. I reckon it's on the two of you to work something out. I gotta keep patrolling, but I'm gonna have my eye on you. Maybe just adjust your stroll path to be a little less hair raising, all right? Y'all are going to be the death of me. Well, you heard the man. Looks like I don't need to sneak into the breach if I can recruit your help. The things I need are relatively simple. But I think I'd feel better if someone with an eye more discerning than that of a soldier's went in to look. So? Great. A bit of context, I'm an archaeology student in Atara, saving up to finish my degree. When I have time, I try to do field work that I hope will be beneficial for when I go back. You've been to the breach, right? Did you manage to pick up on what that place used to be? You know, back in the old world? 
Hmm, no. Didn't it give off corporate vibes to you? You know, that soul-crushing monotony that saps your life energy to the point where you can't break out of doing exactly the same thing every single day for years. Making money for someone else. It was an office building, though it could be said that universities these days are getting more and more corporate. Anyway. When it was open, the breach was a great place to look for archaeological finds and, uh, right, you know the story. One of my main focuses is old-world audiovisual media. From salvaged memos and effects, I've discovered a concept discussed among old-world drones known as huke. I've surmised this term to mean listening to music at work. So next time you're in the breach, just be on the lookout for old-world music-related media. Anything that seems vaguely relevant. Discs, posters. Also, I need some small chips from down there too. For reasons. Thanks again for agreeing to do this. I guess with you in the picture, everyone's lives are being made a little easier. Come find me when you've got some old world music stuff. And don't forget those small chips either, please.
How's the insulated backpack going? I hope I'm not setting unrealistic expectations for myself. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my design, is there? Aha! Uh -huh, what's all this then? Hmm... Slight damage around the edges... Bit of fading... But you can make out the font pretty clearly. Admiral Salt... something something... No thanks... Computer... Probably from around 250 before Peach if I had to guess. Would probably score a preservation rating of at least a B back with the professors. Nice find. And good timing, too. My latest essay topic was just approved. Old World Utilization Theory, a case study on Sandrock's The Breach. Mouthful that it is, my essay titles are actually more concise than most. Anyway, this helps me build my case around my hooky hypothesis. So, thanks again. Wasn't too much trouble, I hope. Dangerous? You appear to be in one piece, at least. Oh yeah? Make sure you train if you're going to keep diving like this, though. Follow through with your strikes, use all your weight to attack, don't forget to exercise your core. Just some tips I saw in Ruin Divers seasonally. Well, in any case, you've been a lot of help. If, hypothetically, I'd gone into the breach myself, I wouldn't have had all this time to get a jump start on my essay. Oh, speaking of which, I'll let you know how that goes. Thanks again! Grace recently suggested that we send food to the surrounding villages in Sandrock. You know, I can't believe I didn't think of it myself. <laughs> she really is something. I took her idea right to the church, and they said yes without hesitation. Dan B volunteered to be the delivery girl about two seconds after. <laughs> yeah, quite a few people in town are from the villages originally. You know, Burgess is, and, uh, Logan's friend, Haru.
Catch you later. Hey, how's it going? Staying busy? Say, you know, I've heard the tales. Being a builder is no picnic. If you're ever having trouble, don't be afraid to ask for help, you hear? How's your wallet doing since you got here, if you don't mind me asking? Whatever you say. Uh, well, if you ever do need anything, you know where I'll be. Ah. Uh, Oh, hey, uh, need anything? <laughs> hey, I hear you. Here, take my tip jar for the day. Just a little something to get you back on your feet. No strings attached. It's not easy being a stranger in a strange land, but we got a saying here in Sandrock. A stranger's just a friend you haven't met. Everybody's got each other's back here, and you're one of us now, so that means you too. Pay me back uh, whenever, or don't. It's all great. Just make sure you have enough to be comfortable and eat right, you know? Stop by the saloon anytime if you ever need some help, all right? Uh-huh.
Hey there. Hmm. Hmm. See ya. Have a good day.
Hello! Howdy! Yeah? Hey, Builder, I got a real important official Silver Core commission for you. Uh, if you got the time for it. Well, if you're standing here talking to me, that means you must have time. <clears throat> Basically, all I need is an official Silver Core deputy cap for the upcoming promotion ceremony I'm organizing. Oh, and you should join the ceremony too. Being all that's transpired recently, it seemed only right to make you Builders honorary members of the Silver Core. Which means you may very well be making your own deputy cap. That's right. The next deputy of Sand Rock might even be you. Hey, don't look so surprised, partner. Even new members of the Corps can be considered for the position. And you really showed that Giggler boss guy who's boss. Anyway, I just wanted to commission a deputy cap for the ceremony. Whoever gets promoted gets the cap. So, what do you say? All right. Hats off to you, partner. Uh, let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Here's a recipe for making it at your work table. Come drop it off when it's made.
Um... was 76 on the Peach Calendar. Conflict was on the rise again on the borders of the Free Cities and the Duvos Empire. The Free Cities sent all their best and brightest up north to the front to defend our lands. The Lucian border conflict was one of the most violent and terrible wars in all our time here on the surface, mainly due to the newest developments in technology used by Duvos and our own tech supplied by Vega 5. If Lucian falls, then the way to the heart of the Alliance, Atara, would have opened up for the Empire. It was a desperate time. Two brave knights made a name for themselves by regularly being on the front line for nearly the entire war. Two brothers. After two exhausting years of defending the border, Duvos unveiled their ultimate weapon, the Dreadnought. A mobile castle decorated in cannons and guns from top to bottom. The younger brother was destroyed by a blast from this weapon, sending the older one into a rage. The older brother single-handedly boarded the Dreadnought and began dispatching Duvo soldiers like they were made of butter. The older brother found his way into the core of this machine and destroyed it. The explosion formed a massive crater 
that can still be seen today, not far from the settlement of Leaguer. But in the aftermath, neither of their bodies were found. Shortly after, Duvos relented in their attacks, but what happened to the two brothers is still a mystery to this day. Ah. Uh huh.
is quite the charmer. You do well to remember that. Have you heard his sunrising compliment yet? Goodbye. Is glorious. The precision, the craftsmanship, the definition. I mean, just look at that veiny vascularity. You can't possibly know what it's like to have something you've worked so hard to create finally be right in front of you. Something made by your own blood, sweat, and tears to be a creator. Leave me, Skinny. I need some time to bask in my glory. You'll get your check in the mail. You magnificent beast.
<laughs> it's perfect! Look at the majesty! I can't bear to draw my eyes away. I look so friendly and welcoming. You're all set! Amazing! My design, your handiwork, and Pablo's finishing touches. It's absolutely perfect! People are going to start calling my shop by the stairs! You know, with all the attention I'll be getting, like, everybody will be looking. Or staring? Ah, by the way, how much was Pablo's fee? Ah, shoot, I forgot to tell you. Always haggle with Pablo. He expects it. It's a part of the game. Ah, done. Well, that's all right. Next time you're in that kind of situation, just think. What would Avio do? Thank you anyways. I'll pay you back as soon as I can. The shop owner and the workshop owner. What are you two doing here? Not thinking of traveling somewhere, are you? With so much work to be done? Pasta, hello! We were just admiring this fine billboard that our friend here made. An advertisement? Let me see. Yes, very nice. But you are aware that there is an application process for new constructions, are you not? No one is above the law, Arvio. In case you forgot, any construction on public property must first go through the Commerce Guild with an application fee, following which the request will be sent to City Hall, where Heidi and myself... Right, right. Application... and the fee... About that. You would do well not to interrupt me, boy. As I was saying, Heidi works with me, keeping track of zoning for new constructions. But as it turns out, to my knowledge, there is no zoning conflict here. Woo! <laughs> you know, Hulcha, the way you were talking, you made it sound like... However... Huh? There is still the matter of the application fee that you so absent-mindedly circumvented. Five hundred goals. Otherwise, I'm afraid the city will have to take down this... very modest creation of yours. Yes, yes, of course. I would never dream of trying to wriggle out of paying for such a valid... and clearly very necessary service. Let me just speak with my partner privately for a moment. Eh, uh, as you may recall, I'm still a bit short. Also, I don't have 500 goals on me. But don't worry, I have a plan. Let's convince Miguel to keep the sign up and just give me a few days to come up with the money. Nice! Alright, just follow my lead. Hmm, what's there to discuss? This isn't exactly what I'd call a complicated issue. Pasta, the thing is, for a little shop like mine, 500 goals is quite a hit. I don't even make that from a full day's work. Can we leave the sign up and I can pay the fee after a couple of days? I mean, it's not like I'm going anywhere. You can see my shop from your church, aren't you? And I mean, who knows? Maybe some tourists will see the sign and decide to hop off the train. This sign could pay for itself in a matter of days! Hmm, I must admit, to see you young people so united, it does fill one with hope. Fine. I suppose these laws were originally written with the intention to improve commerce in Sandrock, not hinder it. You have three days. I will inform City Hall. Wonderful! Thank you, Pasta. You're so forgiving, just like your religion tells you to be. I do so admire those who practice what they preach. Hmm. Yes. What? Ha! <laughs> that went well, I'd say. Thank you for your support. Within a few days, I'll have that silly fee paid for. Oh, 
And I'll pay you back as well. Whew. Finally, I love it when a plan comes together. Some of what I said is true, by the way. I do think this billboard will pay for itself in no time flat. All right. I'm going to speak with Jensen about when there's the most traffic so I can repair for the crowds. Thanks again. seeing you.
some builder from Porsche tried to outsource a few jobs to me, but he wanted me to work for exposure. Yeah, right. As if anyone has ever heard of your dinky old workshop, pay me!
got that backpack for me? Hey, nice. Looks good. If the design works, the food will not only last for hours, but also arrive at its destination looking like it's fresh out of the kitchen. <laughs> you know, the more I study old world technology, the more I realize that most of their advancements came from pure laziness. These takeout boxes, for example. It's just because they were too lazy to leave their house or cook. Hmm, certainly if necessity is the mother of all invention, laziness is the father. Or uncle, daughter? Because necessity comes first? Cousin? Well, anyway, thanks for your help. I'll give this to Danby. They said she was more than eager to do the deliveries, and I'll be there to give her a hand when she's busy. Oh, don't worry about it. If I'm in danger, I'll just call out. I'm sure the Civil Corps will come running. We arrive in 10 minutes or less, or your next rescue is free. That's the justice guarantee. <laughs> See you later. So long, partner.
Humanity! The bombacity! Oh, I told him not to do it! I told him that the abyss would stare right back! He's... he's... It's Pen! He's trapped! Just come quickly! Trouble down by the light shack! I mean, in the dormitory! He's stuck in the dormitory! Oh, thank the light! We're saved! I'll explain when we get there. Well, if it isn't my favorite builder, no sooner was I just thinking of you, and here you are before me. I've had the most enlightening idea, and I need your help. Ten picture frames, post haste. What are they for? Uh, well, it's not that I don't trust you, but when it comes to good sales ideas, the fewer people who know, the better, you know? Don't worry, I'll fill you in later. <laughs> That's why you're the best! Always so reliable. These picture frames. Do you think you can make them within three days? Such opportunities can be fleeting, no? Thanks. See you soon.
me. Can you hear my voice? Told you twenty times I can hear you. Now release me, stuck, skinny. I'm not sure we're getting through to him. Stuck, so captivating. Could great cheese on those abs. He, he told me not to get anyone's help, but he's been like this for days. We'll save you. Destroy the mirror. Too powerful. You built this thing, right? Quickly. You have to turn it off or something. He hasn't eaten in days. Even my secret recipe mush with 11 invisible herbs and spices couldn't snap him out of it. No, not turn it off. Skinny, destroy it. Well, I guess violence is never the answer. Except when it is. You haven't you. Haven't you. Pulch, for your bravery today, skinny arms. I hereby award you the title of Assistant Protector in Training. Intended for recreational use only, it bears no legally binding authority. I'm glad you're okay, but Pen, you need to be more careful! As I recall, I did tell you using electric light bulbs, aka artificial light, was one step too close to corrupted old world technology, didn't I? Got anything to say for yourself now, hmm? Yes, I believe someone is owed an apology here. Ah, oh, well, you don't have to. Ah, uh, but I insist, yes, perhaps Burgess, if you had simply trusted my judgment and destroyed the mirror like I asked instead of bothering our friend Skinny, who's always got something on their plate. And it could have been avoided if you had been able, when the chips were down, to just show a little hint of humility. But I... Stay humble. I... I'm sorry. I'll be more humble next time. Ha <laughs> ha Yes, it is! Thanks for your concern, but Pen has got a point. I should have tried to do something myself instead of... ...world a great service.
Yo ho, skinny! Fancy seeing you here in this city where we both live. How sick was that front flip? <laughs> yeah, did you see the part where I was like, whoosh? But hey, just as I saw you running about through town and ambushed you, it got me doing something I almost never do. Think we've been hanging out and chatting and you're always giving me stuff and buying things. I'm starting to think. We've become really good friends. Is there? <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure it out as we go along. So, hey. I think it's confession time. Remember how when we first met, I did a totally sick flip like I did just now and offered you a combat course? Well, the truth of it is, I don't really like teaching people anything. That whole tutorial shebang is really just an excuse for me to beat people up. Hard to believe, I know. But say, since we're friends now, don't I give you a real combat tutorial? Maybe I can even offer you an introduction to... SPACE PUNCH! Well, duh. Of course it's great. I came up with it. Come, Skinny. We have much work to do. All right. We're here. Welcome to Space Punch 101. I'll be your instructor. I hope you brought your <laughs> pen. <laughs> you don't really need a pen. That was just an icebreaker. So, the first thing about Space Punch is... You take your hand like this and... Uh, Any questions? <laughs> of course, Adara wasn't built in a day after all, right? I don't know, maybe it was. Don't quote me on that. Here, let's see some more examples. So, you just go like... Boop! Space punch. S -s 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 Space punch. <laughs> well. Oh, come on, skinny. Don't. Patronize me. This is my first time actually trying to teach anyone something, okay? But normally I'm great at everything I do after trying for like five minutes, so just stick with me. I, I know what the problem is. I can't just space punch out of nowhere. <laughs> Not without a target. Yeah, that's it. Follow me, skinny. Behold as I use my fist to paint upon this canvas of sky. Take that, you vile beast! <laughs> Oh, you want to challenge the protector? Whew. Well, I think that will answer any questions you might have had. So, Go ahead. Space punch time. Go for it. Oh. Oh no. That's not it at all. I, 
I failed. For the first time in my life, I failed. It feels... Gross. It feels really bad. Dang it, Skinny. I failed you. My only friend and I blew it. Makes me so mad, I just want to... No, I'm afraid there's no point. I've simply failed too hard as an instructor. There's no way you possibly could have gained anything from our lesson. Deep breaths, panel boy. Just like the minister says, take all those bad thoughts and push them down. Deep down. You know what, Skinny? This is going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. You know why? Now is not the time for joking around, Skinny. Everyone cares about what Pen does. Everyone's always got their eye on me, just waiting for that moment for me to slip up so they can laugh. But we won't let them know, will we, Skinny? We're going to keep this all between us pals, yes? <sighs> that is... good to hear, Skinny. Truly, you are a stalwart companion. Trustworthy, far beyond any length I could throw you. And believe you me, that's far. Very far. So it seems there really are things beyond even one such as myself. The glorious protector of Sandrock. You know, Skinny, I've never had someone I really considered a friend before. Furthermore, I always promised myself I'd never be friends with anyone who didn't have an awesome cape, but... You made me break that promise. <laughs> Seems I couldn't predict the future. Perhaps... There are many things I cannot do. Perhaps... There is indeed a lesson here to be learned. When I got stuck looking into that mirror, failing today as a teacher, occasionally getting edged out in whack-a-mole from time to time. Perhaps the lesson of humility I often preach was meant for me. Yes, yes. That's precisely it, Skinny. I can't just take my own greatness for granted. Even though I've historically been ridiculously awesome at everything and done so effortlessly, that doesn't mean it's always going to be so. I need to treat people better. I need to do something nice for Burgess. I... I need to write this stuff down. Do you have a pen? I, I know, I said you didn't need one. I wasn't planning on having an epiphany. You don't? Ah, well, I'm sure I'll remember it. Hey, look over there! A rocket rooster! Watch me tie its neck in a knot! <laughs> Smell you later, Skinny.
Hello. Mm-hmm. Catch you later. Hello, catch you later. Nice see you, yeah. Mm-hmm. photo was taken not that long ago. Mason built that water tower by the oasis. Look at how tired he is in this photo. Must have been a lot of work. People were discouraged back then. 
It's fortunate that Matilda and Miguel came around to inspire a bit of hope. Not only did they inspire us, but they got behind projects that promoted the conservation of nature and water. What's that phrase they're always spouting? In any case, they made sure we always had enough to drink. But the desert is still growing, and soon everything will have dried up, though I may not live to see it. People are leaving Sandrock again. <laughs> Only old fools like me are stubborn enough to stay. Young one, thank you for bringing this to me. It feels good to share these old stories with someone who will hear them. Please stop by if you find any more of my photos. Back in school, we learned all about how Sandrock was built on a big old-world metropolis. Sadly, due to the current state of affairs, not many people are out here looking for archaeological finds anymore. What's this about? Oh, that? <laughs> Dang, I, I forgot all about that. Uh, well, it looks like you solved your little financial crisis, huh? <laughs> nah, forget about the money. Uh, call it my investment into your workshop. Sandrock being like it is these days, the only way we're gonna make it through is if everybody's got each other's backs. Helping you helps Sandrock, which in turn helps me. So don't pay it back. Pay it forward. Given time, I think you'll come around to this place. If not already, I for one find Sandrock to be a fine place worth the fighting for. And I'd hate very much to leave it.
It irks me that there's a man here named Justice. I just don't like it when my motto is associated with someone else. Alas, I'm forbidden from dueling that man for the rights to the word. <laughs> Too bad. See ya!
Thank <laughs> you.